Hello Gemstone Hunter. What if someone told you that the ground in your backyard might hide something more valuable than gold? The immediate reaction would be laughter, of course, after all, who would imagine that among ordinary pebbles there could be a rough diamond? But that's precisely where the mystery of nature lies, it loves to hide treasures where you least expect them. Few people know, but there are subtle, almost imperceptible signs that reveal whether an ordinary stone might actually be a rare gem. The shine that doesn't fade, the unexpected weight, the touch too cold for the sun, everything tells a story. And it's curious to think that, while some spend their lives searching for wealth in vaults and banks, others find it under the soles of their shoes. A small fragment of carbon, shaped by unimaginable pressures, could be the same one that today lies forgotten in the corner of your garden. It seems like fiction, but the earth holds secrets that it doesn't always reveal to distracted eyes. The fascinating thing is that this type of discovery doesn't depend on luck, but on observation. A curious, patient gaze, and above all, attentive to detail. Because sometimes what shines on the ground is more than just a reflection, it's the silent echo of something born in the depths of the planet. So, before we continue, please like and subscribe to the channel, because what you're about to discover today could completely change the way you look at every stone beneath your feet. The ground you walk on every day may hold ancient secrets, formed in silence, long before any civilization learned to name the stones. Beneath the common surface, there are stories written in layers of time, in veins of minerals that the earth shaped with fire, pressure, and patience. Each grain of sand, each forgotten pebble, is a fragment of a deep past, a reminder that the planet is an artist, and its workshop is hidden beneath our feet. Just imagine, thousands of years ago, while humankind was still lighting its first fires, diamonds were already being born in the womb of the earth, awaiting the exact moment to be revealed. It's almost poetic to think that what shines on someone's finger today once slept in the shadows, enveloped in magma and silence. Nature, with its subtle irony, teaches us that the extraordinary rarely reveals itself immediately. It is necessary to dig, not only the soil, but also the gaze. Because true brilliance reveals itself to those who have the patience to observe the common until it transforms into the rare. Some say that diamonds choose their discoverers, and perhaps there's some truth to that. Since ancient times, prospectors have believed that the destiny of these stones is to find someone who knows how to recognize them. It's not just luck, it's harmony. The one who walks attentively, who hears the different sound when the shovel touches the ground, who perceives a subtle reflection in the clay, carries something more valuable than gold. Perception. It is this kind of gaze that separates the curious from the wise, the distracted from the discoverer. Because, deep down, the earth speaks, but in whispers. And few have the patience to listen. Some spend their lives on a field of treasures without ever realizing it. And some, with a simple gesture of curiosity, change their destiny forever. After all, recognizing a diamond is more than identifying a precious stone, it's understanding the power of seeing beauty and value where no one else sees it. Few imagine that something as extraordinary as a diamond is born from something as simple as carbon, the same element that gives shape to the graphite in a pencil. The difference lies in the process, not the origin. While graphite forms in tranquil environments, diamonds emerge amidst colossal forces, in regions where the earth screams and contorts under temperatures exceeding 1,500 degrees Celsius. It is there, in this controlled chaos of nature, that perfection hides. Each facet, each sparkle, is the result of millions of years of silent resistance. And to think that this geological miracle can now rest under a layer of earth in your backyard is almost poetic. Because, in the end, what makes it rare is not just its beauty, it's the journey that transformed it. A silent reminder that value is born from pressure, and that everything that withstands the weight of time, one day, shines. But there's something even more fascinating a diamond doesn't always reveal itself at first glance. Many appear opaque, rough, even unremarkable. However, under the right light, a subtle reflection betrays its true origin, a flash of fire, cold and intense, impossible for any other mineral to imitate. 
It's almost as if the earth itself leaves a secret signature on each stone. The ancients called this gleam the Eye of Creation, believing that within each diamond slept a fragment of the primordial sun. And perhaps there was truth to that. Each spark of light is a code, a reminder of the power contained in the depths of the planet. So, if one day a stone seems too ordinary, don't judge it by its appearance, perhaps you're holding a story that began even before humanity existed. The most curious thing is that, even with all the modern technology, there is still something mysterious about the way diamonds reveal themselves. No laboratory can perfectly reproduce the natural magic of their inclusions, their micro flaws that, paradoxically, are what make them unique. Each imperfection is a signature of time, proof of authenticity. That's why experienced collectors and geologists say that a diamond is not just a jewel, but a memory of the earth, a crystalline record of eras that will not return. And here's the most inspiring part, the same is true for us. It is the pressures, the challenges, and the marks of the journey that shape us. True brilliance, like that of a diamond, only appears when the light of experience touches our scars. And if this thought sparks something in you, if it made you look at the ground in a different way, leave a like and comment below, do you believe that nature hides messages in simple things? I want to know who, like me, sees the extraordinary in the subtext of everyday life. And stay with me until the end, because next comes the most practical secret of all, how to identify if that common stone in your house could be a real diamond. Identifying a rough diamond is like deciphering a secret that Earth has tried to hide for millions of years. At first glance, it may seem like an ordinary little stone, without shine and with irregular shapes. But attentive eyes know how to recognize the signs. The first of these is the shine, and not just any shine. The diamond reflects light intensely and constantly, even when dirty. It's a vitreous, almost wet shine that seems to come from inside the stone. Take a flashlight, turn off the lights, and observe, if the light doesn't pass through easily and there are small internal reflections that cross like sparks, there's a good chance it's something special. But be careful, quartz and glass can also be deceiving. The difference is that the diamond never loses its shine, even under dust or mud. It's as if it breathes light, silent, but unmistakable. Another simple test is the hardness test. You don't need professional tools to do an initial check, just a piece of ordinary glass. Scratch the surface with the stone, if the scratch is clean and the diamond doesn't suffer any damage, it's a good sign. Diamonds are the hardest minerals on earth, measuring 10 on the Mohs scale. But be careful, don't confuse hardness with resistance. They are hard, yes, but they can also crack if the impact is at the right angle. Therefore, Perform the test carefully and curiously, not forcefully. A true explorer observes more than just force. They interpret the stone's behavior, the sound of friction, the sensation in their hands. Because, ultimately, each test is a silent conversation with what nature has created. There's also the weight and transparency test. Take two stones of similar size, one suspect and one common. Diamonds tend to be denser, heavier, to hold. And, unlike glass, they aren't completely transparent, they often have small inclusions, internal bubbles, and a milky feel. These imperfections are their identity, their fingerprint. A diamond that's too perfect is usually artificial. Experienced diamond miners say that the beauty of a stone lies in its flaws, and it's true, both on earth and in life. If you want to go further, use a jeweler's loop, 10x magnification observe the sharp edges, the irregular shine, and the deep interior. The more details you notice, the easier it will be to understand the silent language of gems. These techniques are ancient, passed down through generations among prospectors, collectors, and explorers. And believe me, they remain functional to this day. Technology helps, but nothing replaces a trained eye and a curious instinct. So, how about giving it a try? Grab those forgotten pebbles in your backyard, turn on a flashlight, and see if any of them shine differently. Who knows what's hidden there? If this idea excites you, leave a like and comment below, I'm going to test my stones. 
I want to know who's going to venture into this search. And if you haven't subscribed yet, take the opportunity to do so now, because in the In different parts of the world, stories of improbable discoveries continue to prove that fate has a certain sense of humor, especially when it comes to diamonds. In the United States, for example, a man found an 8.5 carat diamond while walking through Crater of Diamond State Park in Arkansas, one of the few places on the planet where anyone can search for precious stones and take them home. In Canada, a mining company discovered a gigantic deposit in an area that, for decades, had been ignored as seemingly useless for exploration. In South Africa, a farmer stumbled upon a gleaming stone and, unknowingly, changed the course of the global economy, it was the Eureka Diamond, the first ever recorded in the country. These stories have something in common, chance favored the attentive, those who looked at the ground not carelessly, but with curiosity. And perhaps that is the true lesson, the brilliance of luck only appears to those who walk with their eyes open. These stories aren't just about rare stones, but about the human nature of seeking meaning in small things. How many times do brilliant opportunities pass us by, disguised as something too simple to deserve attention? The glimmer of luck often hides in the everyday, on a walk in the countryside, on a trail after the rain, or even in terrain that seemed too ordinary to spark interest. The earth speaks softly, and those who know how to listen, discover. The true treasure lies not only in what is found, but in what is learned in the process. And since we're talking about discoveries, if you could search for a diamond right now, where in the world would you begin your search, in the cold mountains of Canada, on the plains of South Africa, or under the hot sun of Arkansas? How many opportunities have passed us by simply because they seem too ordinary? Like a rough diamond, life hides value in the simplest forms. Sometimes it's that project you almost gave up on, the friendship that seemed lost, or the idea you thought was too small to succeed. All of this can be a jewel in the making, just waiting for the right moment to shine. The pressure we feel, from challenges, criticism, setbacks, is the same kind of force that transforms carbon into diamond. The difference is that, while many break under the weight, others are polished. And there is no light without that initial darkness, without that dive into the depths of oneself. Nature has already given us the manual, nothing precious is born from comfort. Just as a diamond takes millions of years to reach its purity, our brilliance also needs time, patience, and persistence. Those who understand this stop complaining about the pressure and start to appreciate it. Because true value lies not in appearing perfect, but in withstanding the trials that try to extinguish us. Before shining in shop windows, a diamond was once a forgotten stone in rivers and caves. Similarly, each person carries within themselves a raw potential, a strength that only reveals itself when life gets tough, when everything seems to crumble. It is at that moment that authentic brilliance is born, the kind that cannot be bought, imitated, or extinguished. So, the question remains, are you allowing pressure to shape you or destroy you? Think about it. So, the next time you come across a seemingly ordinary stone, remember, the rarest treasure on earth might be right beneath your feet, just waiting for someone attentive to notice it. Each stone hides an ancient story, a silent glow that only reveals itself to those who know how to look. The secret lies not only in finding it, but in training your eye to see the extraordinary in the simple things, in the things that everyone ignores. And to not miss any discoveries, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment below, which stone do you think could hide a diamond? Just like in the video that's now appearing on your screen, have you ever seen a rock like this? It could be a rare meteorite. The extraordinary hides where you least expect it. The earth patiently guards its secrets, and only those who observe with curiosity are ready to see its brilliance. See you later, Gemstone Hunter.